I want to introduce you to Ter uh, Terry Trespicio. She's a relationship coach for men and women. Um, what do you think of what Nadine has done? I applaud the sentiment because I think it's very important. She decided that, hey, I got to make myself happy. We are all responsible. The whole charade of the doing the marriage, uh, I think it's a little gimmicky. And I think if you're going to be single, be single. I don't know why a single person who's trying to embrace a single lifestyle would have to buy into a tradition that's not meant for them. A, a lot of people do feel that pressure. A lot of women, particularly who are single, feel the pressure to, to find a husband, to get married. What is your advice? And one of them is to stop singing the same song, saying, oh, there's no one out there, I'll never meet anyone, I'm so bad at this. The people who keep going on and on with that don't get anywhere fast. Well, well, uh, you also say tell your family to back down. Tell the family to back down. They love you, you appreciate them, but you have to tell them your life is not a problem to be solved, and they need to understand that you have to, you have to make choices that work for you. If you're making choices based on what your family thinks, you're living their life, not yours. And what's your third tip? And my third tip is to redefine what single means. A lot of people are saying, oh, but you're alone, alone. I'm a single adult, I'm not alone. I, I have relationships with people that I really care about and that I like, and this idea that being single is opting out of being social and, being, and enjoying intimate relationships with people is totally wrong. So we have to rethink, what do you want? Create it. We are in the enviable position of being able to connect with whoever we want, whenever we want. No. Why not take advantage of that? Why ruin it by going and getting married to cool. yourself?